Welcome to this morning's reflection. You and I are living in the middle of a pandemic. COVID-19 has changed the world, and now we're in the middle of lockdown. Those circumstances change how we hear the gospel and how it may indeed be applied to our day-to-day -day life in the middle of the lockdown experience. Today's gospel is taken from the gospel of John. It's in the first chapter, starting at the 35th verse. Let me share it with you today. The next day, John again was standing with two of his disciples. As he watched, Jesus walked by, and he said, Look, here is the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him say this, and they followed Jesus. When Jesus turned and saw them following, he said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which translated means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come and see. They came and saw where he was staying, and they remained with him that day. It was about four o'clock in the afternoon. One of the two who had heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first found his brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated anointed. He brought Simon to Jesus, who looked at him and said, You are Simon, son of John. You are to be called Cephas, which translated Peter, the Gospel of Christ. Some extraordinary events happen in the midst of this Gospel, which apply to our day-to-day -day life in the middle of COVID-19 and the lockdown experience. The first thing that happens is that John is standing with two of his disciples, and Jesus passes by, and he says, there's the Lamb of God. And the two disciples leave him and follow Jesus. What's most interesting about this is the conversation that follows. When Jesus notices that they are following him, he stops and he says, what are you looking for? That question is as relevant today for you and I as it was then. What are you looking for? As we begin this new year together, it's a question that we need to think and pray about. What are your hopes, your dreams, and your goals for the coming year? It takes on a new nuance in the midst of COVID-19 and a lockdown. The lockdown is providing us with some extra time to think and pray. What are your hopes, your dreams, and your goals for the next year? What are you looking for? In a spiritual context, it allows us to go to Scripture, to pray, to attend our worship service either on Zoom or a live stream. It gives us some extra time to think and to pray about what are you looking for? What are you looking for? You'll notice in the Gospel today that the two disciples were startled by the question, so they diverted and they said, where are you staying? What they were really asking for is some extra time with Jesus. COVID-19 and the lockdown gives us extra time with Jesus. But only if we choose to spend that time. Later in the Gospel, an interesting thing happens with one of the disciples named Andrew. Andrew is so excited about his encounter with Jesus that he goes to find his brother and says, We have found the Messiah, translated as the Anointed One. You and I in the coming year will have opportunities to share our faith with other people. To evangelize. It's an intimidating word and it can unsettle some folks. But here's the reality. What you're really sharing is your experiences. The events of your life in the context of your faith. As we begin this new year together, may God bless you and those you love. And may you truly and prayerfully explore, what are you looking for? Have a great day. God bless.